connecting rods will be the starting point of a long journey. North America was built in 1839 for the Hudson River. She had boilers on the guards and a walking beam engine. She was the first steamboat having independent steam engines installed to spin the blowers for the furnaces. So you guessed it, she's my next gauge one scratch build project. The functional steam engine will be the first thing I'll be making. In the meantime, I will complete the overall plans of the boat. I'm afraid there's not much to show when starting to build a model from scratch. Marine walking beam engines had these kind of connecting rods, strong and simple. This is an authentic 1840s drawing of one of them. Many of the smaller model engines didn't bother with these and got look-alike cast or stamped eyelet fittings instead. This engine will get 12 of them, 4 different sizes. So let's have a look at the way I'm making them.
And now let's see how it's all assembled. The bronze split bearings slide in place inside the strap. The second one's got a ledge on both sides, preventing the square rod end going in now from moving sideways. Then the jib goes in with the notched side facing the rod. Some model steam engines have it in the wrong way round. And finally, the cotter pins gently tap in, locking everything up. It's simply kept in place with a small set screw. So that's it for part one. For those of you interested and patient enough, I will show a few more things during the five years it's probably gonna take me to build this model. But my next video will be back to paddle steamer Thomas Powell, walking, rolling and steaming around the bend. Thank you for watching.